It's really tasty. Uh, I'm hot. Oh. And I'm back. I'm at the Saturday Walking Street Markets. Oh, frozen coke. I could actually go one of them right now. I'm really hot and thirsty. It's really, really hot today. Now, I'm here a little bit early. It's only 4.30. And to be honest, I'm actually, I'm actually not that hungry. We've got a few food options already, so we've got like cow soy, roadie pancakes, what I can't, corn, burgers. But as I said, I'm not hungry just yet, so I'll wait a little while. I want to try and eat different things to what I ate this morning as well, so I'm going to try and avoid oh, barbecue pork. I'm going to try... Oh, kebabs. Okay. <laughs> oh, chicken. Alright. <laughs> Focus, Michael. <laughs> I'm going to try and... <laughs> I'm going to try and eat different things to what I had this morning. So I'm going to try and avoid noodles. But... Maybe some chicken and some pork. I don't know. I'll have a look. But I'll start eating soon. <laughs> There's a few good choices already, so I'm happy. I found something to do while I'm waiting for everything to open up. A nice cold Leo beer. I would have preferred Singer, but they only had Leo in the small but oh, It's ice cold, got like ice in the middle. That's perfect. Alright, I'm starting off with dessert. So I got some mochi. And I got peach and durian. Alright, so I got my mochi. So it's always good to start with dessert. So I've got peach and durian. So we'll try the peach first. Oh, it's, it's frozen. It's so cold. I've never had frozen mochi before. I've only had it just cold, so it's nice and soft. It's still soft, this is really frozen, but... <laughs> It's really cold. The peach is really nice. It obviously tastes like peach, but it just has like a nice subtle flavor. Okay, time for the durian. It's funny, I haven't seen, I don't know if it's out of season, but I have hardly seen durian at all this trip. Normally it's one of the first things I'd find when I come here, but I've hardly seen it at all. Oh my god. <laughs> Most time when you have durian, like anything artificial durian, it tastes artificial. It doesn't taste like the real thing, but this, it just tastes like I'm eating fresh durian. Oh. oh my god, <laughs> so good. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. I'm happy. <laughs> Alright, nice piece. And then I'll find some other food. Mm, that was good. That was so good. Hello. Banana bean. I got a banana and sticky rice cooked in a banana leaf. So we'll open this up and try it. So I've just opened it up and it's just sticky rice. So it's kind of like the things I had at the um, Bangkok market, which is just the sticky rice and coconut milk cooked. The one I, ah, oh, what did you? I seem to be just eating dessert. I'm having dessert again. So it's just sticky rice with, it looks like they put the banana on the inside. And it's sweet because of the coconut milk. And then when you get, oh. Mm. When you get that banana, it's really strong, but it makes it a lot nicer. Uh, milking, just non coming. Okay. Okay, cup on cup. So now I've got mooping, which is pork collar. Most people use pork collar, I think. And it's just flattened out and it's in a marinade of like garlic, pepper, soy sauce and a couple of other things I can't remember at the moment. It's one of the staple breakfast foods in Thailand. Mm. I always like it. It's kind of one of your go-to things when you're hungry and just want a little snack. But, but this one's cold and I really prefer it if they heat it up a little bit. But it's still nice. Alright, we'll go see what else we can find. 10 baht per one, how may I help you? Yeah, can I get a uh, song to do it again? Uh -oh. I don't know what these are. They're like. They kind of look like mochi, but maybe they are, I'm not sure. It was, the sign was in Thai, so I couldn't understand it. But I got one strawberry, a coconut, a milk, and two durian flavors. They were 10 baht each, so I got five. So 50 baht, that was like $2 for five of them. And I'll try one now and I'll Save the rest for later. Alright. Because the strawberry's on top, I'll just try the strawberry one. So they're really they're really soft and sort of squishy. Oh. It's not moji. It, the outside I think is I don't know what it is I can't explain it <laughs> but you got this soft wrapper and then inside you've got like a, a paste so I'm just trying to work out what the outer layers made out of but it's really like soft and gooey kind of well wow. that was really good this is turning into a dessert video. It's funny, I don't normally eat that much dessert. I'm not really a sweet tooth. Okay, that's a lie. <laughs> but, I'm less of a sweet tooth than I am savory. Alright, we'll find something else now. I've ended up back at one of the food court things. So, we'll have a look, see what we've got here.
kind of want a burger, <laughs> but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have a burger at the markets because I'm trying to show you street food, not burgers. This is, it's not really Thai, but I saw it <laughs> and I wanted it. <laughs> it's, it's bloody hot. It's cheesy corn. I think it's just creamed corn with, it's hot, with cheese on top. <laughs> oh, I can't even pick it up. Because you've got just like a layer of cheese and there's <sighs> corn. Oh, look at that. Cheese all the way through it. Mm. And it's healthy because it's a vegetable. Come on, bye, look. Yeah, it's just cream corn, but with cheese for it. But it's, it's really tasty. See, it's all about eating healthy. It's all about healthy choices. Doesn't matter that it's covered in cheese, but whatever. I don't care. Don't judge.